Welcome back to another Rig Review, and today we're going to look at Thomas, Tom from Tom and Jerry. This rig will be available on the Anim Challenge website, and this will be the September Challenge. You can scroll down to see all of their other rigs, but as you go up here, this will be available September 1st. And just in case you browse around on Animation Buffet, I will of course also put it there, and on there you will also find other rigs that I look at, review, or just post for the site. So if you have any rigs that you want me to look at and or review, feel free to drop me an email. And when I say review, I mean I put these on my channel, and of course here's the plug. If you want to browse around, feel free. I do rig reviews, animation reviews, lectures, all kinds of things. Feel free to browse around and subscribe if you want to so you don't miss any of my uploads. You know the drill. Speaking of YouTube, I will also put a link to the Tom and Jerry evolution clip in the description. It's really interesting to see as it goes through history and shows the different designs of Tom. Because through the ages, he really has looked differently. And for some reason, I'm a big fan of, I mean, I've watched these as a kid a lot. And I would say I'm very much used to this version. For some reason, I'm really fond of this version. But a lot of people probably know this because it's the more recent one. And I've watched probably almost all of them as a kid, but I don't know why. Canary Rodent just stands out. I'm gonna go and scrub forward a bit. And there's just so many classic moments with face deformation, stuff like that. But there's a, this one too. And there is a shark. And this is the music. I'm not gonna play this here for copyright reasons, but the music when the shark shows up is so good. There's just something about the shark. I'll link this one in the description as well. And to go back quickly to their site, what they also have here is the fur and render scene. I didn't get to play with the fur just yet, but you get this scene. It's all lit for you. It's really, really neat. So when you get in there, you can see you get the lights and there's Tom. If Tom won't be in there, you need to rig. But again, that comes out September 1st. Now, without lights, that's actually what it looks like. It has a lot of Arnold renders. I just put in a couple lights just to make it a bit prettier because it's such a cool looking rig. But there we go. And these are the controllers. So as always, let's start with the master control. These are not separate ones. So when you go in here, this is not separate to click. This is one big piece. So in here, you can set the geometry type to temp, ref, and all that good stuff here. So I can't select the geometry, which is good. Control visibility on off like that. And down here, you have your FPS control. And if you actually change this, you will see this happens here. Just as an FYI. And as always, let's go down. Let's start with the feet. I don't know why I go bottom to top. So select this main controller here. Let's go back out. You can move the foot around. Of course, you can move this around. As always, my knee test. The knee does not follow, the knee goes around with this. Now, since we are on the knee, you have the snap, which I love, so you can move this knee around and it stays put. You have save volume, so you can have that for the formations. And of course, the global change or not, if you want that option. Let's go back to the foot and go down. You got your stretchy option, so if I pull this here, and more, all right, pull this here, this is your stretchy option there. You have your squash option, I'll turn that on. So when you have this, this happens. You can see this here. I gotta have stretch on. So this will happen. And if you turn squash off, then you have that. You can see that the bend on the knee happens and you get to do this here. So you have a bit more of a stretchy scale here, which is neat. Say volume on, so when you do this and you pull, it does that to the leg. Of course, this is better with stretch on. So now as you do this, it preserves the volume because you are stretching it thin. That's very cool. And with this stretch legs, when you go with soft, you can change some of the bending. Let's go back here. Again, you can change that here a bit as well. For the foot, going back into the channel here, you got weight, roll, side, heel pivot, tip pivot, and toes pivot. And just in case you're wondering, these pivots are like that. So you can do all of this here side to side and roll, but when you select the controls, what we'll get on this one is a toe control. You can do this. You can also scale and you have toe control. This is actual toe control here. Now, this is the toe wiggle here, but this is the actual small toe control, which you can also scale if you want. And if you go back here on this one, you have your bendy on this and on this one, you got bendy on that as well. And of course you can scale. So there are a ton of options in terms of deformations of the leg. You got your, so the classic gimbal controls, but for a cartoon rig like that, it is really important. You can see these everywhere. And that is of course left and right. Then as we go up, your first inclination would be to go here for the hips, but it's a bit low and that is not, that is for the spine. So you can move this around like this and you can see the nice deformations on that. And if I go up here, you can select this one and you have control like this. I'm gonna bring this up a bit here. And then you can also 
do it like that. And again, this goes all the way up. I'm going to move these around so you can see how the deformations are on this. But if you select the yellow one, that is actually your pelvis control. So you can move it around like this and you can move around like that and you can scale that section as well. If you go up here, you have that for a better line and you can scale as well. If you go up here, this is your hip kind of moving this around for reshaping. It's always good when you have that. And of course, this is on both sides. Now you can go into the bendies, as I said here, and it continues to go up here. So you got an extra one here. When you select this little flag here, and this is left and right, this is for the leg change. So leg change, I mean IK, FK. So here's IK, and now if we switch into FK, you can see the control has changed. And when you select these, you will have your classic FK controls. Now you can also, let's go back here. You can change the scale on this here. You can change the scale on that and so on. These are all the different scale options. You have bend controls on off and then auxiliary that's extra bendy. So if you need more, more Lambus bread, if you need more, you have it here. Very cool. Went up to the spine. Let's go up to here. You select this main control. This is your chest control. So you can move this around. You can see nice deformations here and you can scale to do that. Now, if you don't like where that pivot is, you can go back here, you can do this, and then you have your pivot chest control up, and I can go into the minus, and now it's down here. Just in case you wanna do this, this is pretty cool, I like this. And save volume on or off. And what that does is when I squeeze this around, you can see it collapses, but it has some movement there, and if you do save volume off, then you have this, just a pure stretch. If I turn this back on, boop, gets skinnier, very cool. Let's go like that. All right, so let's go to the scapular control here. You have it like this, and you can translate this around. Now, these are in FK mode. So again, little flags here, just like down here. You can change what that into IK. So if I move my IK arm around, you can see nothing happens with the shoulder. There is no auto clavicle. I'm always checking. Some rigs have that. If you go back to FK, you can move this around like such, and you're going to have to take this guy and move this around as well for your clavicle control. Now, let's go back here. You have, of course, your elbow control, and these are not locked, so you can do whatever you want with that. And then you get to your wrist control, which, of course, is the same thing. And no scale on this, no scale on this, no scale on that. But let's switch here to this just because for later but you can scale it like this just like with the leg controls and you select these and explode but you can do all the scale changes there bend controls on and auxiliary on as well so just to quickly show you you can do this and really reformat and rechange the look of it it's very cool that is your ik hand so by ik you move this around you can see the wrist stays put now you do have stretchy options so when i pull this out you can say stretch. Then you have also the squash here. So let's say squash on. I go back here, it's the same thing with the leg. It just makes it all very, very small. And if you take that off and you bring that AK back, that it does the bendy elbow, of course. You have save volume. So I'm gonna pull this, save volume what like that. And the same thing with the softness, hand, weight, roll, side, heel, pivot, tip pivot, and toes pivot. So what that means, <clears throat> excuse me, you can go back and you have roll like this, <clears throat> because it's technically, it's the four-legged creature, <laughs> it is a leg. So you have that, you got your side to side like this, heel pivot, toe pivot, and toes pivot like that, which is really, really cool. And I don't know how many rigs have that where they treat this as an extra actual leg, and then other apparent visibility on off is down here. But it's very, very cool. I'm gonna turn this a bit bright here, but you have your finger controls, and of course you can select these and we like that with mean, this visibility you will see more so you have a you have your base control for the fingers here on all of these and of course you got the extra fingers now there are two joints here so you can move it around like that but you have a main one that does this and you can scale so again you can do all kinds of deformations with that rake and then don't forget that when you select the elbow that you do have the snap here and also save volume and global then let's go here you got the neck so let's bring that here you have your neck like that you can of course translate and you can scale and make that head bigger you got rotation order and bend control so in here go back in here you can see 
you got extra bend controls. Now, if you go and look at that bigger controller here, that is the lower. So you can do this here. You can rotate like that. You can transit this like this, and you can also scale it like that. Now, if there is a lower, you're going to have an upper. So I'm going to select this right now, and you can do the same thing here. It does this move around like that and you can of course stretch it if you go one higher on the bigger control this is your head control so you can move the whole head around like this you can scale the head around like that and you can also rotate of course facial controls on off global and aim control on off so aim control that's for the eyes and since you're up here might as well select this one so as you move this around this is your head squash that you can move around. And since we go back to the bottom, you have a um, um, you have a bottom squash and stretch control. All right, a lot of facial controls, which is super, super cool. So let's go one by one. You have here your jaw. And when you go down here, you have the average zip of 0 0.5. If you're wondering what that means, is that when I grab this one into your smiley face here, you can do the zip and close the mouth. Now, if you want to change that here, you can go up and down, which in a way, I might as well put that control on here. So you have zip and then the average zip here. So you don't forget about it. That would be probably my, my uh, only comment here. Then you move this around. It's really cool because it forms around the mouth. But in case you want to just stretch it out, you can use this controller to move this out here. And it has extra controls here. Turn them off. Then you got one in here and then you can go one more there you go you have extra controls here speak of extra controls you got a ton of them so you have your control to do this but you can see here that's another control for that you have here the bigger control to move this around and you have a control to move this around like that but of course you can also rotate and everything and you can scale if you want as well you can see there are a ton of controls everywhere here. So same thing here on the lower one. You can do this, all the extra controls. And there is this one right below where you can move this around. Very cool. And as you go up, you got your nose control. And we turn this into that just in case there are a lot of controls here. You can move the whole thing like this. You have the extra small control for this. And then you got this one like that. You can see how this is all affected there. And then we get to the whiskers. Whiskers, you can move around like this but you can also grab them like that. And there's one at the end here as well. Going back here, you have that for the cheeks and in the channels inflate. And if you go all the way out here, you have this one to move this around, of course, in all ways and also scale. Very cool. Then we get to the ears. You can see this here. You have the main controller here and then you have all those little ones to do all kinds of bendies but then you also get the extra tip controls look at this you can really reform and reshape the ears however you want to including these little guys which is really really neat same thing at the top you can see all those controllers here of course both ears and then you even have one here to move that shape around very very neat then let's go to the eyebrow since i'm up here you can have this controller here that moves that whole section around now, if you want to move that whole lower section, that is that. But then, of course, you have your inner eyebrow. And then on this one, you have the eye shaper. So this is then for that. And you can see these are very, very tiny, but they are there. You can do this here and go in here. You can see all of that is there. It's very cool. Then, since we're talking about eyes, let's go down. And you have this one that moves this with limits. But you can also transit these around and you can also scale to some degree. As you get closer, you can see all of that is shapeable. So you have controls for everything. Here you got your bigger control and so on and so on. And as we get to here, and it's the same thing with this one up here, you can transit this down for the lid and it's the same one for this here. And you can have a little control here as well. If you select this one, you can see you have more depth for changes here. And on the smaller controllers, there is nothing here in the channels just to show you. Now, after all of these fine controls, you also have a bigger controller here. So if you want to move things around, that is your bigger control here, which you can also scale. And then let me just open the mouth a bit more here. You have another controller here. So that gives you more control on the mouth. So you can move the mouth around like this, which is really cool. You can, ooh, I mean, I have the jaw open, so the ooh shape is a bit weird. So let me just go back down here but it gives you a quick U shape for this, which he does a lot. It makes it already very appealing. 
And let's, let's go back. And when you select that controller, you have teeth on off. So there we go. Let's put this here. You can see here are the teeth. And that gives you the controls here. You can move these around. These are movable. You can see here. Here are the teeth. You can move these separately. All of the extra controllers on the teeth. And then as we go back here, you can see this here. Let me zoom in here. You have that control. Here, I'll show you. You can move that. And of course, you have all of these for tongue controls to so move this around and of course you can translate and you can scale all of that you can see here teeth and the tongue now if you feel like these are a lot of controls to keep track of fear not if you go back to the website it shows you that you have pickers as well so you can see really detailed in terms of facial controls and the body control moving out though let's go to the eyes here you can see the main eye control with a global switch here then you have your smaller control so this is the eye highlight very cool which i'm a big fan of you can scale if you want and then you have the separate eye controllers to move this around like that and then you have the iris change like here and then you have the pupil change here as well beautiful shaders on those eyes as well then going from the top down to the bottom here you have select this here you have your tail control that you can move around like this which gives you stretch save volume global and plus volume just like every other control that we saw then you can also translate it like this so if you want to change the shape of the tail like that and on the tip control same thing here you can move this around like that so if you desire to change the tail like this here let's pretend you have these ones here so with this you get extra control and this is here as well but you have these controllers like i said everywhere with the same color to change the tail deformation there you go and that is that then of course the bigger one actually i think i forgot is the root and that is that all right just a little quick little posing test here it's all very very neat and easy to do the only thing that i noticed when i moved the eyes i wanted to make this a bit more of an angry pose if you look at this view this goes up and this goes all the way down but it goes fairly far forward so you can translate these back but then it's going to reveal the uh eye balls here and it's a bit tricky sometimes to move things around you have all this right so you move this around here you'll have some shapes that are still protruding there. So the extra control is really neat, but make sure that you are careful in terms of how you shape things. But the cool thing is that you can totally do it. You can totally have absolute control over the shapes. You can see here how things move. So it's very versatile, but as you wanna push facial shapes, you can see here some of the lid geometry and everything going through. So watch out as you do this but overall very easy to like i said select and pose and change things and re-sculpt so i am very curious to see what people are going to do with this rig it's really really fun and again you have lots of examples here on their page where they put in poses already it's really cool and you can really match the cartoony poses from the tv show and that concludes this overview and review here. So if you have any rigs you want me to look at, post and review, there's an email if you're dealing with me with your rigs that you have. I will take a look at them. And that is that for me. If you like this and you don't want to miss those types of reviews and other reviews that I have and uploads, feel free to subscribe to my channel. You know the drill. Hit that bell button so you don't miss any of those uploads. That is the typical YouTube pitch at the end. And I will say thank you for watching and... Bye-bye.